There's a story that came out uh, on uh, this week from Natural News. Zoe Sky is the writer. Biometrics, data, and surveillance, DNA I, being eyed as the ultimate global ID. And let's be clear, this is something that I've talked about in the past, you know, long before they were starting to do, do these types of, of posts. I'm not trying to, to brag here, but I said, look, when they've really cracked DNA, and when I say past, we're talking about years ago. So when they really crack how to be able to, to quickly read DNA, that's the, the, the whole, uh, the whole, I guess you could say, uh, predicate or the, the the requirement for this to become reality is that they have to be able to read DNA instantaneously. Once that happens, then they'll be able to use DNA as, as they say here, the ultimate global ID. Um, and they will position it as, hey, don't worry, you know, there's no way, this is the one way that you can make sure that you don't have ID theft. And I would imagine that in the not too distant future, both our cell phones as well as our computers or any device, any digital devices that require identification are going to have monitors that will allow them to to be able to essentially check your ID by looking at your skin, looking at your hair, looking at something, touching you, know, touching your DNA and being able to decipher, oh, yes, this is the right person. This is who who is supposed to get into this bank account. And that's how they're going to sell it, by the way. They're going to sell it as, hey, this is the total security. Nobody can copy your DNA. They can copy your name. They can they can forge a, a driver's license. They can steal your phone or whatever. You know, they can hack this, hack that, but they can't hack your DNA, even though they technically can, as uh, 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 Harari from the WEF often says, you know, that we can they can hack humans, hack the DNA. So according to the article, it is dangerous for human DNA to fall into the wrong hands because it reveals all your genetic predispositions and DNA cannot be altered, which ensures lifelong immutability. Now there are DNA sequences devices, sequencing devices that can quickly generate DNA profiles uh, anywhere using mobile devices and fully automated processes. And those in power are, are eyeing DNA as a potential global ID. Your DNA is more precious than gold for technocrats because it is the irreducible structure of all life on the planet. There was a recent hack. Uh, 23andMe, for those who don't know, 23andMe was uh, their DNA collection company and they were hacked and now they're 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 in kind of big trouble. They, they put out a whole, hey, sign this waiver and get something. You got one month to sign the waiver or else it's it's assumed that you're not going to participate in any class action lawsuits against us. They are they are definitely, definitely concerned and they should be. But perhaps more concerning is that our DNA is being collected and, and sent everywhere. It's not just being being sent to labs here in the United States. You know, if you took your your PCR tests, a lot of them end up going to China to get you tested, stuff like that. They're doing everything they can to collect as much DNA as they can. And it's not just about individuals. It's also about a holistic approach when it comes to bioweapons. The ultimate bioweapon, which may or may not already be developed by multiple nations, is the type of bioweapon that can target people specifically based upon their DNA. There was uh, the last Bond movie. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but the last Bond movie with Daniel Craig actually featured that basic premise that they they created a a uh, weapon, you know, a virus. I think it was a virus or some sort of some sort of chemical or biological weapon that could, uh, you know, when inhaled by anybody else, it did nothing. When it touched anybody else's skin, it did nothing. But when it touched, you know, was targeted to the person whose DNA it was encoded for, that person would die pretty much instantly. That's science fiction. That's Bond fiction. But it's also pretty darn close to reality. And I'm not going to say that it's already done or they've already figured out how to do that. More importantly, I'm not going to say that they've been able to target individuals. I would argue that it's probably based on race, based on predisposition, could be based on age. There are ways that they can uh, manufacture bioweapons that can target us based upon certain criteria within our DNA, our, our genetic predispositions. So that is... I think a good chunk of the end goal. Then of course, there's the whole idea of transhumanism, which is a much longer conversation because DNA technology and transhumanism combine ugh, scary stuff. That's all I got to say about that folks. Scary stuff. Be sure to catch me on all of my various channels. You can catch the live shows, see these clips like the one you just saw. Over at jdrucker.com slash shows. That's jdrucker.com slash shows.